6th grade, module 4, lesson 24, problem set. State when the following equations are and inequalities will be true and when they will be false. Okay, so number 1, we need to say when 36 is going to be equal to 9k, or 9 times k, and when it will be false. Well, what can we insert for k to make 9 times k equal to 36? And so 9 times what is equal to 36? Well, 9 times 4 is equal to 36. So this will be true when k is equal to 4. And it will be false when k is not equal to 4. So anytime it's anything other than 4, it will not be true. Number 2. So that was, it might get a little crowded here. So I'm going to do different colors and I'll label them. So number 2, 67 is greater than f minus 15. So when we have an inequality like this, I like to start by making it so that they're equal. And then we can work off of that. So what would it be if I made them equal? So 67, if it was equal to f minus 15, what would that be? So this needs, so basically f needs to be 15 more than 67. So what is 67 plus 15 would be 82. So if it was 82, so say f was 82, then this would not be true because they would be equal. If it was 83 minus 15, so for example, if we did 83 minus 15, let's see if it would be too bit, if it would be true or false. So 13 minus 5 is 8. Six. So that would be 68. So 67 greater than 68, that would make it not true. So if f is greater than 82, then it is false. But if f is less than 82, then it will be true. Actually, this first one, if it's greater than or equal to 82, it would be false. Because if we said 67 is greater than 67, that's not true. Clean that up a little. Okay, number three. V over 9 is equal to 3. So what divided by 9 is equal to 3? Well, that would be 27. So V, so when it's true, V needs to be equal to 27. For it to be false, false, for it to be false, V needs to be equal to anything but 27. So just anything other than 27 would make that true. Number four, 10 plus B is greater than 42. So let's start by making this true. So 10 plus what? is equal to 42. Well, that would be 32. But that would be false because 42 is not greater than 42. But if I made B like 33, 10 plus 33 would be 43 is greater than 42. So we can say that for number four, it will be true if B is, so B needs to be greater than or equal to 33. And it will be false if b is less than 32. Or less than or equal to 32. Either way. Number 5. D minus 8 is greater than or equal to 35. So let's make them equal. So what minus 8 would be 35? Or what is 35 plus 8? Let's see, 35 plus 8 would be 43. So if we made this 40, 
So if we made D43, 43 minus 8 is 35. So we would have 35 is greater than or equal to 35, which is true because they're equal. So to make it true, we could say that D needs to be, and we always want this to be greater. So D needs to be greater than or equal to 35. Sorry, not 35, what we discovered over here, 43. For it to be false, D just needs to be less than 43. Number six, 32 times F is less than 64. So if we made it equal, 32 times 2 would be 64 is less than 64, which is not true. So 2, to make it true and false. For it to be true, F, let's see if we make F3. So 32 times 3 would be 96. Is 96 less than 64? That's not true. So it looks like F needs to be less than 2. And for it to be false, F needs to be greater than or equal to 2. Okay, number 7. So 10 minus H is less than or equal to 7. So let's make them equal. So we made them equal. 10 minus 3 is less than or equal to 7 because seven is less than or equal to seven. So that's true. What if we used four for H? If we did 10 minus four, that would be six, and six is less than or equal to seven. If we did 10 minus five, that'd be five is less than or equal to seven. So it looks like for it to be true, H needs to be greater than or equal to three. For it to be false, H, must be less than three. So for example, if we made it two, 10 minus two is eight, and eight is not less than or equal to seven. Number eight. 42 plus eight is greater than or equal to G. So 42 plus eight is 50. So that would work if we made G um, let's see, so this is always equal to 50, so we could just change it to 50. So it's basically saying 50 is greater than or equal to what? Well, it would be 50 or lower. So true, G needs to be less than or equal to 50. For it to be false, G would be greater than 50. So for example, if we made this 51, then it would no longer be true because 50 is not greater than or equal to 51. And number nine, m over three is equal to 14. So what divided by three is 14? So we can figure that out by doing, let's do 14 times three is 42. So m it would be true if m is equal to 42. And it's false anytime m is not equal to 42 because it must be exactly equal to 14. 